Hello YouTube and welcome back to Leagues Trailblazer Reloaded. We're on episode 7 now and as you can see in the chat log at the end of last episode we finally unlocked our 7th relic and our new area which means I can now click this and we're here. My first time in Kandarin on Leagues. This is what it's all about. Look how many people are doing forestry here. I'm going to get so many more forestry events and be able to get so much more anima bark, but that is not what today's all about. Today is all about combat. That's right. Today, we are finally going to be pumping up these skills, at least some of them, but this is the one, Slayer. This is what we need to be getting up because I need to start getting those unlocks so I can start going to raids and things because I am, I, I will admit, Content wise, I am behind everyone else, but I'm also going at my pace and I'm having my fun and I'm enjoying the grind as it is. We also need to start working on these points so that we can get so that we can get to 24,000 and unlock that final relic. I believe I will be going Guardian, but I could go Executioner. I'm still undecided. I won't be going Undying Retribution, I don't think. Out of the three, I think it's either Executioner or Guardian. So let me know down in the comments which one you think I should pick. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and let's go kill some things. But before we do, I need to get my inventory set up because we currently have a task of 34 spiders, so I'm going to go kill a boss that I've never killed before. And here it is, the first boss I've never done, we're doing today. Let's go get it. Let's fill up my prayer. Cut the web. Slash the web. Head on in. Turn on my range. Head to the middle tile. I haven't even turned my spell on. Oh god. There we go. God, that was awkward. I really thought someone might be in here. Because there was a guardian just hanging around. But it looks like they're not. So I'm just going to have some fun. See how well this goes. I've never done Sarachnus before. So hopefully this is going to be fine. It looks like it's going fine. She's going down pretty quickly. There we go. Kill off those two and just carry on focusing Seracnus. Have a little munch to eat. And here we go. She's going down. She's going down. First Seracnus kill is going to happen. I probably should have moved away from the range in the melee and I should have probably killed the melee first, but it is what it is. We can do it this time. There we go. Melee's down. Now Major down and let's kill Seracnus. I think this is the run. This is the run. Oh, the little spiders actually count towards my KC, so of Slayer. But there we go. Seracnus is dead. I didn't actually see. Oh, we got our first grubby key as well, which is going to be a task. And there we go. What's that? That's an easy task. Oh, she's back already. Oh, she can melee me from there. She can melee me. We got 30 uncut diamonds. I got a hard combat task and a medium combat task. And we also got an easy... 40 pointer I think it is and I think I'm gonna go through my whole task with this I think I'm only gonna have to kill about 10 of these to get the whole thing completed max hit is currently a 33 that's huge and she's down easy peasy lemon squeezy I'll take it I'll take a, a elite scroll thank you and 24 sapphires again all the gems from this you know why because Seracnus is a gem and that is KC number three what are we gonna get I'll take some chaos runes it's not great but it is something so let's stand at the side and wait for her to spawn again and there we go 4kc we're only getting 7,000 slayer xp from killing her but i will take it and there's a sun tattered page that is that is part of the way through to a task i will take it i am gonna have to bank now though i'm learning i'm learning i actually learned quite a lot there i didn't even use my magic potion i'm such an idiot and down she goes yelling timber Dragon Bones, that's huge. And another elite clue. I'll take it. Thank you very much. And here we go. We have Blood Barrage unlocked with the Magic Potion. So let me just take another dose of that quickly. This gives me a lot more sustain down here. And that is my Slayer task completed. So we're going to be done here after this, KC on Seracnus. And there she goes. I'm yelling, Timber. What do we get for number seven? More coins. Ah, oh. and that is 8kc completed. What are we going to get? Dragon Bones again. This is actually going to be huge for the prayer training, honestly. 
and that is 10kc. We're in the double digits for our first boss. Grimy Wanaweed. Wanaweed? Not the best drops, but it's something. And we got a easy combat task. 10 Seracnus is completed. Very nice indeed. And we are going into the catacombs. Let's investigate. Let's go to the Bloodvelds. And let's start splashing to our heart's content. If I can remember where in here they are. Well, someone's here, but they're only killing one, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get ready. I'm resorting to the Australian servers because I cannot find a world, but here we go. Let's get it. I'm using Blood Barrage, but it seems to only be fighting one of them. There we go. The Demonic Punching Bag. One point. Thank you very much. We got the big old Karen booty right here. Look at it. Look at that thing. Look at her shaking that thing. God damn. And what am I going to get from my first superior? I got a Dark Totem base. I will take it. Defeat a superior Slayer creature. Very nice. Where's the loot? And there we go. We're getting three at a time. Look at that. It's taken me a while to figure out how to do this because it seems a bit, seems a bit off. Oh my God. So much loot. I'm not entirely sure why I was praying for this Blood Veil task because like Blood Barrage just maintains me, honestly. As long as I only attack like one or two at a time, I'm fine. And if I get too worried, I can just flick my prayers on. But right now, I just, I'm sustaining myself. I don't need to pray. I'm embarrassed it's taken me so long to realize. And there's a new collection log, the Dark Totem middle. We just need a Dark Totem top, and then we can go kill Scatizo. Oh, we got a Big Bertha. I'm going to turn my prayer on for Big Bertha. And Big Bertha is down. What are we going to get? Another Dark, that's the Dark Totem top that we were looking for. I literally just mentioned. And this is third Big Bertha of the task right in the middle there. Look at her. Look at it. It's just wobbling around, big old thing. So I think superiors are like 1 in 50 now because of um, like leagues things. So I technically should get three and a half this task. So we're on rate right now and we still have 42 to go. So I should get another one. There's another Dark Totem base. I'll take it. And it turns out I can reanimate the heads with the runes I've got. So at least let's just work through all these quickly. I've just realized the flaw in my plan that I'm on the wrong spellbook now, so I'm just going to have to beat them to death. That was 16,000 prayer for one blood build. Yeah, you best believe I'm picking up all of these heads now. And there's a task, 200 XP for casting Ice Barrage. Easy peasy. And there we go, my inventory's empty again, but I've just gone from... I, ju I think I just went from like 49 to 58 prayer or something like that. I just doubled my prayer XP, basically. So I'm just going to be doing that with every insult head I get from now on. Jesus. And it's the last two kills of the task. Are we going to get a superior spawn for the last kill? Let's find out. No. Nope. But we did get a Dark Totem middle, so I'll take it. We've almost got two Skatizo trips worth ready. I'm going to be building these up, and then we will do like a batch of Skatizo all in one point, because there are a few tasks for killing Skatizo, so we will do that at some point. But that is task completed. 200,000 XP for killing some Bloodvelds. And... More importantly, some serious levels. And what most people seem to forget is if you click this cart and pay 200 coins, it takes you straight to Shiloh Village. What are you going to give me, Juradel? Give me something good. 147 worms. I don't think I've ever killed a worm before. Let's go kill my first worms. Maybe we'll get a dragon harpoon or whatever else they drop. Dragon sword, I think it is, or dragon long sword or something. But either way, I'm ready. This is a video of firsts right now. I'm doing so much stuff I've never done before. And we are here at Worms. It is time to start the grind. I don't actually know amazingly how to do this. I've never done it before. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos. So hopefully this is going to work. There's our first combat task, a slithery encounter. I'm just going to be burying the Worm Bones because it's good prayer XP. But again, it's like... 20 worm bones is going to be the equivalent of one insold blood veiled head, for example. Insold blood veiled heads are just so OP. We've had our first superior turn up. Finally, a shadow worm in the making. Might actually have to pray for this. But there we go, it's dead. And what did I get? An adamant square shield. Just, just not what I was looking for, honestly. And this is superior number two spawning in. Let's get it. It's time to die, mister. Turn me prayers on. Screw it. 
I looked away for a second to make sure my recording was going, and I was at half health. That was worrying. There we go. He is dead, dead, dead. Didn't even give me a clue. Scroll that time. And there's our first rare drop, a dragon dagger. I'm going to take it just because it's my first one. It's not technically because I got one out of a clue, but it's my first one, you know. It feels rude not to pick it up. I'll swap my spellbook and high alka at some point. And here's the third Big Bertha ready to die. Let's get him. And all we got was a clue scroll. Onto the last worm of the task. Oh my god, this was a lot easier than I expected it to be. There we go, 200k XP, and they're all dead. And we're ready to head out and go get a task. I'm just going to get it from Konar because I'm right here. It's, it's just easy. Are you going to be nice to me, Konar? That is the question. Get my assignment. 69 cow fight in the cow fight lair. That's easy. Medium clue, medium clue. Not a medium clue. I've done it again. I've done it again. This isn't the cow fight lair. I was trying to psych myself up to do cow fight queen, but I no, no, not yet. I don't think I'm ready. The stats aren't good enough. The defense needs to be higher. And I need to have like a range switch or something. So I think for now, I'm just going to stick to the cow fights that I know. The cow fights that I love. The ones that we all know and love. And I'm going to go kill guardians. I've only got to kill, how many is it? 69? That's easy. That's fine. I can do that. And there's our first good drop. A rune chain body. And that is task completed. 69 cow fight dead. 136,000 XP. I wish that happened all the time. Let's go get another task. What are you saying, Konar? What are we getting? 31 mithril dragons in the ancient cavern. Ha ha ha, yeah, that's great. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, 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 it's great. 56 fossil island wyverns on fossil island. Now that I will do, because... Wyvern shield, maybe? Here we are, let's go down. It's been a while since I've killed these, so I don't really fully remember what I'm doing, but... I'll figure it out. I can out-sustain these easily. Let's go. I picked up the Elemental Shield because on Leagues, the Slayer Masters all sell Elemental Shield along with your Boots of Stone. There's a task. Defeat a Fossil Island Wyvern. I'll take the, I'll take the Prayer Potion. I'll take everything. Screw it, because I can bury the bones anyway. Oh my god, it's so worrying when I get frozen because I'm like really vulnerable. But then I get my movement back and boom, my health starts to fly up again. And I finally got one. I don't know how many tasks I've done now, three or four for Konar, but we finally got a brimstone key. So we can go and open that as soon as I've finished killing these 15. Remind me never to do this task again, please. And that is task completed as much as it attacks me while I'm trying to get out of here. That is task completed. Let's go and do another one. Let's see what we get out of this brimstone chest. Two dragon fruit seeds. That would have been great if I hadn't already got 99 farming. Black demons in Brimhaven dungeon. Okay, I can do that. And straight off the bat, like five kills into the task, I've got a brimstone key. Let's go. And just like that, we have 84 hit points. But that's not the important thing, because if I keep doing this... Ready? Are you ready for it? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. There we go. 200 points. Reach magic level 99 right at the end of the task. Would you look at that? It was like it was time to perfection. Let's unlock this brimstone chest and see what we get. Five torstal seeds? I will take it. That is that is good herb lore. 177 dust devils in the catacombs of Karend. Now that, that is a good task. Let's just remember how I almost lost the hardcore. Didn't buy my face mask. Boom. And here we go. We're doing the task. Easy peasy like. I'm using Blood Blitz for it purely because I'm lazy. So the reason I'm using Blood Blitz is it's like an easy way to attract them to you and still be able to do a barrage of sorts rather than like freezing them. This just works so much better for like having to rather than swapping to darts and then swapping back. I can just do it like this. It's so much easier. And we got our first superior. Let's go. Look at it. 
big old fat head over here. And down she goes, I'm yelling timber. The dark totem top, I'll take it. If I could see it. And there's a brimstone key for my troubles. What a, sh what a, what a good game, what a nice game. And there is a task, reach total level 1750. And we get a brimstone key for it, very nice indeed. And there is our first ancient shard. Can't believe I've killed 150 plus of these and I haven't had more than one superior. It's just one. Why, why no more? Please. Game. And that is task completed. Let's head back to Kona again. And for brimstone chest key number one. 150 magic logs and 42 dragon dart tips. The dragon dart tips is very important actually because... There is a challenge to fletch 200 dragon darts and load a blowpipe with dragon darts. But I can't do that because I can't get a blowpipe. But I can do this one. Easy 200 points. If I can get enough dragon uh, dragon tips, we'll be good. But let's see what task we're going to get. Konar be nice. 36 red dragons in Brimhaven dungeon. I think not. 195 dust devils in the smoke dungeon. Wait. Oh, it's Dust Devils in the Smoke Dungeon. I was about to say, are we already ready for a cult? No, we're not. We're level 81 Slayer. We've climbed nearly 30 levels in Slayer so far. I'm an idiot. This is the Smoky Cave. This isn't the Smoke Dungeon. And here we go. I found the Smoke Dungeon. I totally didn't go to the, um, dust, the Smoke Devil Cave at first. Now, let's go find this Slayer-only area and see if there's a free world. Here we go. Let's get ready. AKA turn my prayer on and then just start splashing. And there is a task, defeat a dust devil in the Caridian Desert. Easy peasy. And there's a brimstone key for my trouble. And I believe this is gonna be a task if I equip this mystic air staff. Nope, I've already done that one, okay. And there we go, Big Bertha has turned up. Let's get her down. Come on, just drop a cheeky imbued heart. You know you want to. That was not a cheeky imbued heart, was it? Didn't even get a heart clue from him. I've been scammed. That was back to back brimstone keys. Oh my, I've never seen that. Yeah, Yo, you're going to drop me a cheeky, cheeky imbued heart, yeah? Cheeky, cheeky imbued heart? No, you're not. Oh, and then there's another superior, back to back. I was due a couple, so this makes up for it, I guess. What are you going to give me? Oh, slay 10 superior creatures. I really thought that was about to be a drop then. I really thought it was about to give me a good drop. And just like that, task is completed. Yep, only people with slayer task can kill in here. That's fine. Let me grab my stuff and go. We are going back to Konar because I have four brimstone keys to use. Steel dragons in the catacombs of Karend. I will do that. I'm just going to give it a go and see what it's like. I'll give it a go. And while we're here, we might as well open our brimstone keys. So here we go. Number one. A hundred dragon dart tips. That is going to help towards that task. I think it was, I need to do 200. Three Celestia Seeds, not too bothered. 140 Magic Logs, if it was the right time for that. And 77k. Okay, not not terrible. The Dragon Dart Tips make that 100% worth it. I also need to go in here and I actually need to buy some things because I need Broader Fletching because I'm just going to spam Broader Fletching to get my Fletching to 99. Slayer Rings. I'm actually going to activate Hot Stuff because it's going to force me to do my fire cape at some point. Oh, I cannot unlock it during leagues. Okay. Oh, so is it already unlocked? And I might as well. I'm going to make the blood veils a longer task because it's going to give me more superiors. Dust devils, I'm going to extend as well. And I think that's... Oh no, I've still got 100 points. So is there another one? I'm going to extend necreals for now. And then next time, I'm going to extend the Abyssal Demons as well. But anyway, let's get on with the task. Just doing a little side mission here right now to get 99 cooking. 
Turns out you can buy sharks in Piscatorius from the food shop. And I bought 5,000. I'm cooking 5,000. Because that way we just have all the food we need for Slayer if we ever need food. And I'm going to have another 99. So I'll see you at 99. Like, I'm not even kidding when I say, watch this. When this, when this cooks, look at the XP drop. That's 120k for an inventory of sharks, which is nutty. And here we go. If I click on this oven and I cook them all, boom. 99 farming has... Farming? 99 cooking has been achieved. That's another 200 points. And I also got 80 points earlier for cooking 100 sharks, which I also forgot to mention. My bad. So this probably doesn't look exactly like what I was doing before, but I realized I don't have Beneath Curse Sands completed and I needed to um, get it done so I can play some TOA with a friend. And yeah, it's finally done. I cannot tell you how much of a struggle I had with the last boss. My God. And that is Beneath Curse Sands completed, 80 points earned, and we have access to Tombs of a Mascot. And we've got 10 hard caskets to open. Let's see if we can get some third age or some gilded. That is neither. Neither is that. That's a rune full helm H1. Guthix kite shield. Jewel Psy. That's got to be rare. That's an armadil plate skirt and rune plate body G. That's an unholy blessing. That's a blue dragon mask. Guthix braces. I got the explorer backpack. And for our last free crate, can we get something good? A bandos coif. Just realized the last recording was terribly formatted and like you couldn't see the whole screen but you could see enough to see what i got in the crate and we have three elite caskets to open so let's get them open number one royal gown bottoms and musketeer pants mithril dragon mask and a dragon cane so that's double elite back to back actual like collection logs that's sick and the last one adamant dragon mask which gives me a task Fill 10 Elite Clue Collection Log Slots, which I think is 80 points. It could be more. We're going to find out in a second. Ah, it's 80 points indeed. Fill 10 Elite Clue le Collection Log Slots. While I'm waiting to do some TOA, I'm going to get some free XP. I don't think I've ever actually played Soul Wars before. I might have played it like once or twice maybe, but I don't think I've really ever played it. So this is going to be interesting. And there we go, that's a game of Soul Wars completed. I have I got 64 zeal. I'm pretty sure that's terrible. That's plenty of prayer XP. Let's go again. 125,000. I'll take it. That's more like it. That's 208 zeal. Let's trade with Nomad and see how much XP we can get. Boom, that's 372,000. We are now level 74 prayer. I'm probably just going to farm up a load of zeal for the next, like, however long and bank it all in at once so let's go and just like that we have 640 zeal so i'm gonna put 610 on prayer and that's 1.2 million xp going in oh very nice to see level 83 prayer and let's grab one spoils of war because pet you know boom no pet sad times 816 tokens so let's do 770 in prayer and that is a nice juicy 1.8 million xp 88 prayer let's get a spoils of war and boom no pet never lucky 888 zeal so let's put in 798 i think that's another 2 million prayer xp we're up to 92 we're halfway to 99 already and let's buy a couple of spoils of war. No pets. Never luck. However, we are getting a lot of pure essence, which is going to be great for when we come to do 99 runecraft. We've got 2,000 zeal to spend, so you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put 1,800 on. Let's see how much XP we get. 352,000. Ooh, that's going to be tasty. That's going to be like 5 or 6 mil. Ooh, that's 5.6 mil. Bang on. Would you look at that? We are now 98 prayer. We need 569,000 to get to 99. And then we are done and we can just go for the pet. Six spoils of war. Could have got 99, but no. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. And no pet. Sad. And straight after I do it, someone receives the pet. Balanced. Fair. It's fine. I don't want the 200 points anyway. This should 
I don't think it is, but it should give me enough XP for 99. Oh, I'm... Am I 99? I am 99. Let's go. That's another 99 on the account. 200 points. 99 prayer. So that just means that everything we get from this now, I can put straight on the spoils of war. Let's buy two while we're here. I'm five points off a third. That's sad. But boom. Oh, Dragon Dagger. Didn't even know you could get that here. Renar and double death runes. I got bored waiting to do the TOA with my friend, so while I'm waiting for him, I've been doing some Guardians of the Rift, and we're now up to 64 rune crafting after about half an hour. Easy XP here, if I can get a rune pouch here. However, it's not... Oh, there's an intricate pouch, which is a collection log. Come on, three more, two more. Give me a pouch. 112 pearls, I'll take that. And what's in my pouch? Hard clue and some chaos rune. Another game, four more levels gained. Let's see what we get. Abyssal Blue Die, let's go! Oh, baby, that's a collection log. That's usually quite a rare one, so I'll take that. And we also got At Lax's Diary. Oh, I just, oh, I just got the 80 points for equipping a room crossbow. Let's go. I didn't there realize I've had it in my bank for like a week and that I've never did. put it on. I'm all good. Let's go, Sunshine. Yeah, you're diseased again. How do you know? I can... I'm sorry, man. <laughs> You've got quite the reputation. And that's it. So, normally you'd actually run through these, but yeah. because you wouldn't normally mage it, you would melee the boss. Okay. Yeah. But because, obviously, this is just so busted. See, I, I think most people... Oh, don't... I did not hit that. That's on me. We do this. is on the final boss. This changes, like... Um, then I can just execute it. Oh. But there's no more boulder phases. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there's a boulder phase when you run into it afterwards. So. Well, how's that fucking hit me? It was nowhere near me, you. I think you might have even died to poison. Oh, possibly. I'm not getting hit by cum today. I just ran into cum today. I just click, mate. I don't even try and dodge. I just click and, and hope. You can always bring your bruise out if you're, like, dying. The most important thing is not dying for points. But to be honest, our purple chance in 150s is pretty uh, low. Fuck me. I've eaten most of my sharks. That's all, all your food is for this room. Okay. All of your food in the raid is for this one room. We did it. Hey, 25 achievement points. Drop the balls. <laughs> Sorry. Um... Oh, man, those skulls. So they like come all oh. eat and pray. And come on this tile. Not now. Oh. <laughs> I got <laughs> stuck in your one. Those skulls are like really hard to explain. But he fires them out randomly. Also get ready to run back to the other tile. Somehow you did that. Oh! Oh fuck me. They're going the way I didn't expect. <laughs> I it, it's yeah. Man, it's so much. I'll, honestly, you could just... I'll, I'll, like, talk you through it. Yeah. Oh, he flying! He flying! Oh, oh he flying! You get your axe out and you just fucking ya yeet! <laughs> ya yeet! And then ya yeet the final, <laughs> final phase! <laughs> I was gonna say, you, you yeeted and it didn't ya yeet! Yo! <laughs> there we go, combat task completed. Novice Tomb Explorer. Purple lights, purple lights! Ah, oh, never lucky. <laughs> Never lucky, my friend. Okay. Leech, leech. You did some damage. Some some damage was done. When I look at this, yeah, all I'm seeing is I only took a little bit more damage than you. True. Could you imagine? Oh, I didn't even get a great nothing. Did you get dull? No, didn't even get a wow. dull. Come on, that's a challenge. And that was my first Tombs of a Mascot. Let's go. I hope you enjoyed the highlights of that. It was terrible. I'm terrible. And that is it for TOA. My friend had to go. So we are back doing some lovely Slayer. I don't have the points to skip Steel Dragons. Oh, gold. Okay, I'll go kill 36 Steel Dragons. And that is task completed. 36 steel dragon slain 151,000 xp and we are now level 84
And so if we can get 85 Slayer today, that would be lovely. And then we can try and skip and get a few tasks and see if we can get Abyssal Demons and try and get our Abyssal Whip. 48 Moss Giants, I am going to do that because that, I'll have you know, gives us Moss Keys. And one of the tasks is to equip Briar Fighter's Star. And I'm going to kill Moss Giants down here because if I do get a Mossy Key, I might head in and try and do Briar Feeder. I have no idea how to do it. I've never done it before, but it will be fun. And there's a new collection log, the Longbone. I'm pretty sure there's a task to do something with the Longbone. Also, we've just got two Mossy Keys, so... Yeah, we're doing Briar Feeder today. And that is task completed. Oh no, Briar Feeder, you're so scary. Oh, I don't have an axe. Rune Medhelms. Very nice. That's some money. Thank you for the task as well. Rune Plate Skirt and another Mossy Key. There's another task. Quick Cutter. And she's dead. Is that a speedrun? That is not a speedrun. And all I got was a Marantil. And hey, that's two more Mossy Keys, so let's go and do them. Might as well. They're actually not too hard to farm. I'm assuming it must be like a 1 in 30 for me or something, maybe? And there it is! I only needed one more key. We have the Briar Fighter Essence. Oh, baby, let's go. Let's get the task completed. And if I use this battle staff that I grew, chopped, and crafted myself with the Briar Fighter's Essence that I killed for myself. Here we go. Look at that. It just wave my hands in the air, and I have Briar Fighter's Staff. That is 80 points, very nice. And our next task, 62 spiders. We're going back to Sarachnis, oh yeah. So it looks like if I just kill the Melea, I should be able to like tank the, um, tank the Major while I kill Sarachnis. So I should hopefully save quite a bit of um, my KC. 16 KC. Giant Egg Sack, nice. That is a collection log right there. 25. And that's a combat task. It didn't actually... Oh, Chaos Runes, okay. I was about to say, it didn't give me any loot that time. I was about to throw throw hands at it. And we have completed the task, but Seracnus still lives, so she must die. I could quite happily sit here and just keep doing that all day, but I've got things to do, places to be, grubby keys to open. Let's go see what we get. There is a task completed. Open one grubby chest. I will keep the super restores, eat my eggy potatoes. And our last task is going to be 127 worms. That is a very nice task to be finishing on. Because we could get the dragon harpoon, which will make fishing so much easier. And there it is! Oh my god, I called it! We got the dragon harpoon! Let's go! Oh, it feels good to be good at the game. <laughs> no, it's leaks. We're not good. There's enhanced drop rates and things. We got it before we got the dragon sword. So there's our superior as well. Are we Is the luck going to keep rolling right now? Are we about to get a saturated, unsaturated heart? And we didn't get anything good from the superior. But more importantly, our Slayer is now level 85 off the back of those superiors. Oh, it feels good. We are going to be able to get our Abyssal Whip real quick. And there's another one, the Dragon Throne Axe. How did we not get that before we got the Harpoon? I don't know. And this is now the final kill of the task. That was actually quite an easy, quite a chill, relaxed task. Really good XP. We actually got 200k from it. Not too shabby. 145 Abyssal Demons in the Catacombs. That is going to be the start of next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. If you have, please don't forget to drop a like. Hit subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you in the next one.